I didn't realise it was foggy. Yeah, look, look. Let's go out and have a breakfast, baby. It's Saturday morning. Ooh. And let's have a look in Jimmy's unit because I've got to pick that little thing up what, for him. Spying on him. Yeah. See you in a minute. Bye. Oh, it's a bit cold, baby, in the yeah, Mondeo. Put the engine on, will you? Get the heater on. All right, baby. Sitting there faffing about with the camera. <laughs> oh, you didn't swear then, did you? Faffing. Hey? Faffing. Faffing? Yeah, come on. I thought you said the other word. No, you say that a lot. <laughs> I'm sure she said the other word. I didn't. All right, baby. I'm you gonna... can replay that and then you can say, sorry. Faffing. It was faffing you it was said, faffing. right? Faffing. All right, then, I'll let you off. Right, let's just go down. We've got to see Tracy first. Good. Pick up, uh, uh, she wants a rib of beef in Horncastle. Oh, lovely there. We're going to have a breakfast and then and then we're going to go and uh, pick something up from Jimmy's unit. Just have a look at one of the cars he's got in there at the moment. Right, okay, then here we are. Let's get out the car. <laughs> Hello, daughter. Come round to mine later, and I've got it on my link now. You get him. <laughs> Don't get me. Hey? Don't get me. Come down to see you, baby. Stop moaning. We said, What do you want? I'm well, saying how good that butcher's is. Talk to your mother. Um, Tell them how good that butcher's is. Oh, Manners, amazing. <laughs> yeah. That'll be enough for one rib, wouldn't it? Oh, you mean two ribs? The way your kids eat, yeah. What are you getting? Rib of beef, baby. Oh, yes, baby. I'm going to go for two ribs. If I haven't got two, I need to get plenty of change, shouldn't I? If they haven't got two ribs, you just get one. But I think because of the way your babies eat. If that's baby, is that baby? Don't baby. Look, someone's put baby in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> is that your little helper, Sharon? Crazy. I said it little. Little step in the corner there. Oh, no, just, we've done that back to the fairy now. Right, we're going to leave you anyway because we've got to go now. We're going to the horn castle now, Sharon, aren't we? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Do you need a haircut, baby? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she does. Yeah. I don't know if I want. Last two goes, I was supposed to do it. Well, can you do it? it? No. No, you're not going to do it. I know it. someone that can though. Who? Stop doing your mad eyes. Um, yeah, no, just get a nice joint of pork off him, if not. How many got for dinner? It's just us four. Oh, All right. Hey, we invited. It didn't work. <laughs> right, didn't come work. on in, let's go. Sharon's just gone to the post office. As you probably know, uh, as you know, we work from home and we have to obviously buy and sell stuff. We sell a lot of stuff and we have to go down the post office and post stuff off, so... Um, Sharon's just gone to do that for the moment. It's Saturday morning. Uh, that was Tracy's shop, as you know. We just popped in there. She wanted us to get some uh, meat from her from the butchers on the way through to Horncastle. We got to the calf uh, in a place called Hag Worthingham, called JJ's. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're going to stop off. And just Jimmy's out today. He normally works on a Saturday morning, but um, he's had a, a, a Mercedes 4x4 in that he's doing a, a nearly nearly a full respray. It's not a full respray. It's basically pa pa panel damage on quite a few of the um, uh, different panels. Not all of the panels, but as I say, he's done some. He's done most of the work now. I think he said he's he's finished the spray now. He's just got to do a buffing job tomorrow. And uh, we took the door handle off, and this Mercedes, I think it's an ML 270, and he had to take the, the the passenger door handle off, and that proved to be a right nuisance of a job. I should have actually filmed it because to take the external door handle off, you have to uh, take the in or re release the inside panel, and there's a hole in the back of the door, a very small hole where you have to put a long uh, Allen key, in, uh, uh, an M4 Allen key. And uh, as the door handle was rusted on the outside or all around the door handle, obviously the screw inside the door, which you've got very very small access, that was totally rusted as well, and the actual head was rounded off. So in the end, I had to drill, I had to get a long drill and actually drill the head off the screw as well. And uh, we, we removed the door handle that way. But I've just got to pick the door handle up now and find another screw for him so he can refit the handle some more. So we'll see that a bit later on anyway. Uh, yeah, we've not done much, as you know, over the Christmas period. I've been playing about with my computers again. I've got this new phone, uh, uh, not phone, what am I talking about? I've got this new camera at the moment, which is a, a GoPro Hero 5. I haven't got my normal mic what I've got on at the moment. I'm just using the onboard mic in the actual GoPro itself, which isn't very good. That's why I'm not really doing a lot of recording in the car while the car's running. 
but I'm just waiting for a little adapter to come because I've got a mic to go on the top of that, uh, a new one. I've got a, a, a Rode video mic, which I've just bought. But as I say, you need an adapter for the new GoPro, which I've just bought. 50 quid that is for a little adapter. Absolutely ridiculous price. Get your act together, GoPro, as I say, because uh, although you've updated this camera in so many ways, the uh, you should be sort of, this, this sort of thing should be easily convertible without you having to buy 50 pound adapters here in the UK. I think it's $50 in the States or whatever, but uh, that's another story. Yeah, so um, I'm over my chest infection. A lot of people saying, that, oh, you keep getting chest infections and bugs and all that. No, I don't. This thing's been doing the rounds all over the world, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. And uh, I was lucky enough to just get over it by just over the Christmas week, basically. But I didn't have no taste or smell over the Christmas week and um, I've got that fully back now and it's so nice to be able to taste and smell things again. You don't realise that when you're just eating food and you can't smell or taste anything, uh, it's, it's a real strange sensation. And it was, that was all down to, I think, block sinuses, uh, as I say, because they finally started draining, uh, I think about a week and a half ago, and then I started to be able to taste and smell again. Uh, what else was I going to say to you? Obviously, we're going to try and be doing more videos now. I've got two channels, as you know, and I've got to start doing some more videos on the other channel. Come on, baby. You posted all our stuff off. Oops, I have, baby. Right, that's your job for Saturday, isn't it? Wow, is it? No, because I've got book work to do. you got book work. That's our book work, isn't it? And Jimmy's. And Jimmy's. Oh, you've got to do Jimmy's as well. So you look after me and Jimmy, baby, don't you? Of course that's... I don't. I just treated you to a spa day. Oh, yeah, she's just booked on the online. If you go on Groupon in Don't the... everyone go there before Tracy gets it. <laughs> oh, no, in the UK. If you go to a place called Groupon in the UK, I, I don't think you've got it in the States. What's that? Drive. We get a spa day. What, how much you pay for it, Cher? For two of us, no treatments. You get a coffee and a Danish, £15 for the two of us. But you're there all day if you want. You get the old dressing gown when you go in. You've got the uh, hydrotherapy pool or the heated pool, which it can the go sauna. in. The sauna. You've got free use of the gymnasium for the day, all for 15 quid. It's just a nice relaxing day. So we're going to just book that uh, as and when, aren't we? Yeah. We're also going to see Elvis, uh, a, a tribute act in, uh, when's that? March the 17th. Oh, that's March, that is. You booked that yesterday. Uh, what else are we doing? There's something else we're doing as well, isn't there? We're going to go on the Emmerdale tour, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Kids bought us that. We're just going to have a, like, a day out. Is it Lancashire or Yorkshire? I don't know. Leeds. Leeds is Yorkshire, isn't it? That's right, yeah. So that's where we'll be going as well. So we've got lots of little outings and trips coming up. We're going to try and get out and about a bit more. So you might see a few more out and about videos. Like from we us. should be at our age. Like we should be, darling. That's right. We're relaxing. We're enjoying stuff. Oh, I'm And sorry. there'll also be, as I said to you, I would have started it this week, the Trotter van. But it's been so icy and cold outside. Oh, it's terrible. And I'm working under a carport. I've got to put the actual back in and all that now. But you should see them coming up within the next week. The uh, start of the trotter van restoration. I want to get that done. I want to get it finished. I want. I want rid of the triumph. Yeah, people well, don't want rid of the triumph. Uh, but no, pe him. people want to see the triumph video. I want Sharon. it gone. We'll do it and get it out. I will do, but we've been not well for five weeks, and I've There's also no way in that. I've said I've not been well for what five weeks. We? Not been well for five weeks, and we've had Christmas and other stuff, and now it's very cold. So that I'm going to get on top of things this this year. <laughs> so I'm going to get on top of you, baby. <laughs> we'll see you a bit later. We're just going down now. I'm going to get oh, you going, Sharon. That. I'm going to get you going down a calf. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, that's okay, on top of me and getting me going. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Don't be so rude, baby. People are listening to this. Baby. Bye. Bye. How's that, baby? I'll let you know when I'm a bit personal. Tell me what it's like. That's what you call a breakfast, isn't it? Happy days. Time to tuck in. Here we are, Jimmy's unit. Oh, I see, yeah, he's been doing a bit of jobs here, as you can see. Oh, he's resprayed this bumper there, that looks very nice. And we're just uh, having a look around just to. I've got to pick something up for him, this door handle thing. Oh, here it is. This was the little door handle, external door handle trim, which we had to get off. And this screw was, uh, the head had broken off of it. You can only gain access from this, from the inside of the booth. Let's go have a look. 
Here we go, he's got the wheels here, look. He's in the process of doing them. What have we got here then? Right, so he's done quite a bit of work on this. Yeah, all the way around there. All this has been resprayed by the looks of it. All the bumpers. As you can see, we're in the booth at the moment. I think the bonnet's been resprayed. And also the wings. As I say, every panel, or most panels that you can see that are unmasked, all that uh, work needed doing to them, which is actually repaired. This was the door handle up here. This one here we had trouble with, as I said to you, because this goes on that way around like that and that little screw from the inside was actually broken off but all this was all rusted and corroded all around there what would obviously be getting in there and that's what caused the problem at the end of the day so this is all actually gone off now so that's nice and yeah he's done a good job Come, coming right around the back here all the back court has been resprayed and or well, not all resprayed he's done some bodywork around the arches there and obviously he's, he's relacquered all this again and and all around there as well so that's the job, late, Jimmy's latest job. I think it's an ML270 uh, Mercedes. This is, I think it's a four-wheel drive jobby. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's been doing well. The old filters have been going well, as you can see there. He's obviously just undone that filter there now, look. After he sprayed this car, so the filters are actually working very well there, as you can see. And, um, yeah, it's looking all right. He's done well. He's gonna be finishing this job for next Tuesday I think so he's still got a few more days he's got all day tomorrow just to sand and buff it and get the trim ready and paint the wheels and put it all back together so yeah it's looking well well done Jimmy so as I say he's preparing the wheels as you can see he's got them just to finish off they're gonna be resprayed they was all curb scuffed and all that and then he's gonna to have to obviously uh, refit the bumpers here which he's done separately so uh, yeah, these had lots of work needed doing on the corners of these, if I remember rightly. Right, so I'm just going to take this little corner bit home now and uh, see if I can find a screw for him and uh, do some stuff around the house. So we'll see you shortly. Right, so here we are again in the log cabin. I'm now going to try and do these brackets, which I've uh, got for Gary's, sorry, for Jimmy's um, wheels for his big doors for his spray booth. And I'm going to try and tack these up like I did the old one. This is the other one I've done. As you can probably see there, that looks okay. That's nice and solid now. I've got some diagonals to go down there for support yet, but I haven't done them yet. So I've just fixed this up in the uh, on the worktop. Let me show you. As you can see there, I've just literally put it together. I'm going to drop a few welds along that seam and that seam there, and then I'll change the clamp over and do the other side. And I've got a little small piece to go along the top there as well, just so that as you can see, it ends up looking like that. So as you know, we've got our new hobby weld gas set up now. All should be well with this now, and I should have plenty of gas, so I'm just going to switch on now and get it going. Let's show you what we've done there. Well, it's not the greatest wheels, but uh, I think you'll find that it's going to do the job. I did waver about a bit on the, a couple of them, but um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the way they've turned out, so they'll do for me. I'm just going to do the top one now, and I'll see you again in a minute. Not very straight, but it's going to hold it anyway, so I'm happy with that. Right, okay, there we go. I've given it a little coat of paint. Uh, it's not the greatest bracket in the world, but I think it'll do the job. That's gonna say, gonna be bolted to the door, as you can see there. Uh, I've welded all sides as well. I've actually welded the actual uh, wheel plate 
to the bottom of the bracket as well as nuts and bolts. Bit belt and braces, but you know, you just want to make sure at the end of the day. So that's the thing. I've got to do the same to this one now. This is one I've just welded up. And so you can see the difference in the strengthening bits I've put on the side so we don't get no flexion. But I've left the other wheel at Jimmy's lockup, so I've got to go and get that. I'm not going to do that today. All right, but well, that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, we've had a pretty eventful day. I'm going to go in and have a cup of tea now with Sharon. She's been doing some housework indoors, so I just hope you enjoyed our little uh, jaunt around on the Saturday afternoon. We'll be getting back onto the Reliant Regal, hopefully this week now. I know I said at the end of last week, which we're now into, but uh, the weather was terrible frost out there, and I didn't fancy getting cold sitting outside. Uh, bearing in mind it's under the carport anyway. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Thank you.